what's it like right now? I mean, it seems like, especially on the old line, you, you guys got so many guys down. Um, I mean, what was that like yesterday? I mean, how tough is it right now to try to game plan with so much uncertainty? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the world we live in now. We just have to, you know, figure things out and, uh, you know, the, the coaches will put us in good situations and, uh, you know, we'll be ready to roll on Monday night. Next question, Herb Howard. Cody, what, what was it like for you on, on Sunday night? You go from having a future Hall of Famer on your left side to having a guy who hasn't played football in a year, a rookie thrown into a tough environment, it's a good defense. What was that like for you trying to do the best you can to help Tevin out while also, you know, dealing with your own assignments? Yeah, I mean, that's just part of the league, you know, stuff like that happens and you just got to adapt and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, as far as Tevin, you know, he's he's learning. Um, you know, it's part of being a rookie. It's part of, uh, you know, the process of, of coming into the league and, and getting a feel for it. So, um, you know, Tevin's going to continue to grow and continue to, um, you know, build throughout the year and, um, you know, he'll, he'll be fine. Were there things that changed specifically for you during the game once that change was made? I mean, maybe just a little bit more communication and stuff. Um, you know, obviously, Jason, you know, he, he sees a lot of things, um, you know, so he's kind of helping me some, um, you know. So I'm um, just, uh, you know, trying to see things and just, I guess, over communicating to so that we have some clarity out there um, is probably the biggest thing. Next question, Brad Biggs. Hey, Cody. Will you have a norm, normal practice today or is it a walkthrough again? We don't, uh, I don't know yet. Um, you know, we're still trying to figure things out and, uh, you know, so we're not sure yet. Next question, Dan Reeder. Cody, you've obviously seen Mike Zimmer's defense a, a number of times from a, a few different vantage points. For Justin, seeing it for the first time, what are some of the things that you would communicate to him that he's got to be aware of sort of pre-snap trying to identify exactly what they're, what they're doing to you. Yeah. I mean, they do a lot of stuff. Um, you know, they're a good defense. They, you know, they're very good situationally as well. Um, you know, so we just, we just have to be on point. I think the biggest thing um, obviously for us up front to him is just having the communication of where we're going, um, you know, and stuff like that. So that's, that's what we're working on this week is just basically over communicating clarity so that he knows, he knows what we're doing. What have you learned about Justin here in the last month or so, you know, with the all he's been through with the injury, the, the lengthy stretches of losing, trying to navigate the rookie roller coaster as it is, and, and just trying to stay immersed as best he can through a, a long rookie season? Yeah, um, you know, you just see him very positive, consistent player. Um, you know, we all know what Justin can do. He's very talented, um, but I just love the poise that he brings. Um, you know, he's the same guy every day, and that's all you can ask for. Um, with the quarterback um, is just to be the same guy and to keep your poise no matter what happens. And he's done that. Next question, Mark Potash. Hey, Cody, uh, with, again, with regard to Tevin, what do you recall about your first start? I know he was in a thrown in a little tougher situation than you, but uh, you started as a rookie, I think your first game. What, what do you recall about that? And maybe how, I don't know if it was overwhelming or just how you got your feet on the ground. Yeah, for sure. Um, my first start was on the road as well um down in houston and uh i can remember they that was when we had some injuries and i was asked to move to center you know i was playing left guard the whole training camp and then uh moved to center and never never had really snapped the ball or anything like that so and then i i, I start studying tape and, and i see who's the nose guard well that was vince wilfork um you know and at the time you know, you watch, you watch a guy like that, a Hall of Fame guy like that growing up, and you're like, holy cow, you know, this is going to be my first NFL start on the road, playing a position I've never played before and playing against Vince Wilford, you know. So it was – I guess that was kind of my welcome to the NFL was, was, was going against a guy like that. And, uh, you know, like I said, Tevin's, it's, Tevin's going to continue to grow. He's going to continue to, to mature and, um, you know, continue to be a good player in this league. Based on that experience, were you able to kind of impart any words of wisdom to Tevin? Just to, you know, like Justin Fields mentioned how he texted him or talked to him or whatever, just to keep his, his head up or whatever. Were you able to kind of uh, do kind of a similar thing based on your own experience? Um, yeah, I think the, the, the biggest thing is, is when you come into those situations, there's, there's going to be ups and downs, you know, and I think the biggest thing is you have to, 
you have to kind of play with that next play mentality. You know, you can't let one play affect you going on to two and three plays. So that, that, that was kind of my biggest advice to him is, you know, we just got to continue to the next play. And, and, and if it was a good play, great. If it was a bad play, you know, get it out of your head. Let's move on and let's, let's get ready for the next play. Thank you. Next question, Dion Miller. What is, what is morale like in the locker room right now and around the team? Uh, not just a four and nine record, but dealing with COVID and injury and Ill, other illnesses. Like what is, what is kind of that morale like right now? Yeah. I mean, um, it's tough. It's, it's the world we live in right now with, with COVID and um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we just, you know, our, our main focus is just preparing and getting ready for Monday night to, to get back on the winning track and uh, get this thing back turned around. How much of a distraction is the COVID and going back into protocols intensely like you did last year? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just it's it's part of the you know it's unfortunate we're still we're still dealing with this, but uh, you know we we can't use it as an excuse. We got to just make sure we keep pushing through and um, you know focus and prepare for Monday night. Next question, Nick Moriano. Hey, Cody, there's been a lot of revolving pieces around this offensive line all season, but how would you assess how you've played throughout whoever's on maybe one side of you one week and could be different the other week, but how would you assess how you've played? Um, you know, there, there's been ups and downs. Um, obviously, you want to you want to play better sometimes than, than what I have, um, you know, but I'm, I'm continuing to grow. I'm continuing to come out to practice and, and work on my craft and continue to try and you know, work on the things that I've struggled with in the in the past week or, you know, things that I've seen, you know, beat me and stuff like that. So I'm just, you know, trying to come out here every day and work on my craft and, and continue to get better.